What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. All right, man, look. How great is Deontay Wilder? Really? Wait a minute. Coffee. Coffee. I'm back. <laughs> All right, man, coffee. Um, how great is Deontay Wilder, really? All right, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Taking off the glasses. I'm about to get on my soapbox. Listen to me. If you hate Deontay Wilder so much that you can't hear anything positive about Deontay Wilder, anything, any sort of praise at all about Deontay Wilder, if you hate him that much, hit dislike, bounce. If you are a fanboy of Deontay Wilder and you can't take a moment of criticism uh, of Deontay Wilder, you're just that much of a fanboy, hit dislike, bounce. This community is for people who love boxing, okay, who look at all aspects of boxing, all right, and trying to look at it from a standpoint being critical at times, but thinking of it logically, looking at, at, at everything, okay? So that's what we do here uh, as a boxing community. Everybody who loves boxing, boxing fans, please stay, okay? Because this is not a fanboy channel. All right, with that said, how great is Deontay Wilder? Now, we saw Deontay Wilder KO Brazil in the first round. I said myself, I predicted Deontay Wilder to knock Brazil's head off. Why? Because he is too slow and he has no head movement. His technical skills are all wrong, okay? Brazil, I can see it clearly. Brazil is from the, the era, the Klitschko era type of heavyweights. He, he's not, what I'm saying is, I'm not saying that he fought then. I'm saying he's still the residue of that era, okay? The super big heavyweight, the super heavyweight who's slow and who sits at the end of a jab, can't move his head fast enough. These big guys that got these new boxing fans thinking that, Tyson, that, that Mike Tyson was too small, Joe Lewis was too small, Muhammad Ali was too small, that Frazier was too small, that Rocky Marciano was too small because they don't understand boxing, okay? And that bigger doesn't necessarily mean better. I'm talking about these guys who came up in the Klitschko era. Was Klitschko great? The Klitschko, so let's talk about Vladimir Klitschko. Was Klitschko great? Look, let me tell you what Klitschko was. Klitschko was great for his time. He was, he was the beginning of the super slow big heavyweight who has a one-two. All right, but Klitschko, he was KO'd by Lehman Brewster, by the likes of Corey Saunders, uh, by, by people like uh, uh, Ross Purity, I think his name was. Look, if let's put this in perspective. If Muhammad Ali was KO'd by uh, uh, Henry Cooper, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Zora Foley, uh, you know, the likes of, uh, you know, those guys. You know what I'm saying? If he was KO'd by the, even, even uh, Shivalo, if he was KO'd by those guys, all right, we would have a different a uh, uh, idea. Of, we would be asking, how great is Muhammad Ali really? I'm talking about getting KO'd in your prime, the way Klitschko was, all right? Klitschko benefited off the era of big, slow heavyweights, no talent pool. All right, now, not to say that Klitschko wasn't great. He was great for his era. But Deontay Wilder, what Deontay Wilder is, is the athlete who decide to play uh, to, to box instead of playing football and basketball, just like it was back in the 90s. Because those guys in the 90s, those heavyweights in the 90s, they were looking up to Ali, Foreman in them. So those athletes, those big athletes just decided to box. They wanted to be the next Ali and not the next Jim Brown. Okay? So that's what happens when the big athletes start playing football, start playing basketball, that takes away from the athlete that would be boxing. What Deontay Wilder is, is just an athlete, a big athlete who decided to box. So he's taking advantage of these guys coming in at 218, coming in at 220 and destroying these big, slow heavyweights, super heavyweights. He is just a look in the past. All he is, what? look, let me tell you something. Um, uh, Lennox Lewis. A big man who decided, a big athlete who decided to box. 
um, guys like Mike Tyson, guys like Ray Mercer, uh, guys like uh, 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 Razor Ruddick, those guys, they decided to box and not play football or do something else. That's all Deontay Wilder is. And he is the beginning of those guys. People who actually have ab muscles, people who have back muscles, people who can move in the ring. Anthony Joshua, um, um, F.A. Ajagbe, um, um, Daniel Dubois, um, even uh, Joe Joyce, who can do a, a somersault, a no-hand somersault. When he wins, he does a no-hand somersault. You're talking about guys like uh, uh, Usyk, those guys. Now you're talking about big men who can actually move and be technically sound. Bigger don't mean better. So what happened with Deontay Wilder in Brazil, what you have is Deontay Wilder, who is a great athlete, in great shape, with a crazy right hand. OK, so that means he can get out the way of a punch just from being a big athlete. He could throw his punch faster. Brazil couldn't move as fast as Deontay Wilder. He was just sitting there. He had a winning record. He only lost to Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. Everybody else are big fat guys sitting at the end of this jab. Those days are over, bro. That's what Deontay Wilder is. A look in the past. That's what Anthony Joshua is. He's just a look in the past. He just look at those guys, but how good is Deontay Wilder really? Could Deontay Wilder beat Tua? Could Deontay Wilder beat Razor Ruddick, Ray Mercer, Michael Moore? Could How well would he do against Tommy the Duke Morrison? Now, I think Deontay Wilder would beat him, but that would be a better fight than people think. Why? Just because he can move and a good athlete with a great left hook, technically sound. You know what I'm saying? But people actually think Deontay Wilder can go up against uh, Mike Tyson, uh, Muhammad Ali. That's being ridiculous. That's being... Deontay Wilder has huge flaws in this game. He's just a big man who's an athlete who decided to box and not do something else. But Deontay Wilder is needed. He needed for this landscape. He needed he, these new kids who's like, man, I'm an athlete. What should I do? They can look at somebody like Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua, and say, man, I can be the heavyweight champion of the world. That's all. We just needed a heavyweight who would bring it back from the big, fat, slow heavyweights who got people thinking 265, 250, 65 means something. It means nothing. Look at Brazil. He can't move. He can't move, man. And when you guys saw me do that live stream, that two-hour live stream, okay, uh, when I was uh, live doing the live commentary of the fight, when I got hyped up for Deontay Wilder knocking out Brazil, I wasn't cheering on Deontay Wilder. I was so angry looking at these guys, these big guys who just can't move. That's what Deontay Wilder is. He's taking advantage of these big guys who can't move. No hit to Deontay Wilder. He's doing his job. But I'm telling you, People like Deontay Wilder was nothing special in the day. Nothing special in the day. All he's doing is proving the point that Joe Lewis, Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, Joe Frazier, George Foreman, who was 220-something pounds. He wasn't 300 pounds. I'm talking about George Foreman with the fro. Larry Holmes, that these guys, all you need is a heavyweight punch. But the more lean you are, the better you are because you can move your feet. When you look at Mike Tyson... Okay, no heavyweights moving like Mike Tyson now. People think Chris going and Mike Tyson is actually a good fight. That ain't no fight at all. Mike Tyson hopping to one side, moving like a little man. The point of the heavyweights is to be big heavyweights, but to move as much of a small man as possible. That guy will win. Hopping to one side, throwing explosive punches, throwing combinations, eight punch combinations. Mike Tyson was throwing five, six punch combinations. Guys can't do that now. That's why those guys in the, he the heavyweights in the day are way better than the heavyweights now. How good is Deontay Wilder? He's okay. But he looks amazing compared to these big, fat, slow heavyweights of today. But he is a look into the future. Things are changing now. That's all. He is the beginning of the future. And we need a Deontay Wilder. So we can so he can inspire these new kids who are about to grow to be big men and have them become boxers. Because I'm telling you what, the sport of boxing is only as good as the heavyweight division. Show biz the don't. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But that's how I feel about Deontay Wilder. I'm out. <laughs>